So we're here on the slopes of Sonoma Mountain doing our 2014 olive harvest. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? It's uh, Wednesday, about eight o'clock in the morning. We've been uh, harvesting for about a couple hours now. It's the uh, 2014 olive harvest, and it's looking to be a great harvest again. 14's been a strange year, the third year of a drought, and uh, it's really surprised on the quality and the quantity of the olives we're getting uh, off these trees. And these olives are all Italian varieties. They're Luciano and Merino olives, um, very intense olives, and they make a wonderful oil. The challenge this year is that it's really early. We're about a month to six weeks ahead of schedule. The olives are already turning black. We're already seeing a lot of desiccation, which is the drying out of the olives. Um, a lot of olives are falling on the ground. And so we're doing a kind of a triage pick today, the first pick of the season, just because we have a storm coming in tomorrow, hopefully with some significant rains. We want to get the olives that are uh, beginning to fall off the, uh, the trees. So uh, it'll be the first pick. And the first pick's always important because that's the, your greenest pick and that has your most intense flavors. Um, sometimes almost a little too bitter, but it's a good place to start. And then as you harvest down a couple weeks ago, uh, from now and even maybe a month from now, that olive oil will be a little bit more mellow and we can add that back and kind of mellow out this one. But this one will have the, the real kind of uh, energy for the for the blend so um, we usually fight white fly uh, the Mediterranean uh, uh, fruit fly up here but we seem to uh, have a handle on that this year I think this is going to be a very similar harvest to last year last year we got about oh 70 percent of what we're used to and that's pretty good for a drought year so the trees are holding more olives than I thought for uh, for being the third year of a drought I'm pretty excited about that so the best part about olive harvesting is this it's old school we don't have any fancy shaking machines. We don't have any electric rakes to, to uh, do it. We do it the old fashioned way, the way the Greeks and Romans did. And that's take sticks and beat the heck out of the trees, which is a great uh, anger management. Get all your anger out. The tax man, hit that guy. Those bad politicians, hit that. And it's a, it's a great way to get all your aggression out. But it's also good for the tree, because believe it or not, where that stick hits the tree, it snaps the little branches, and that's the new growth for the olives for next year. The olives grow on the outside of the tree where, um, where the new growth of the, of, the, of, the, of the branches are. So you get out your aggression, you get some nice olives, and you set this tree up for next year. So it's a, it's a great day out here. Thanks.